Hey there guys, it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well. So in today's video, we are talking about a brand new product from Fenty Beauty. This just launched, it is now officially in store at Sephora and also online. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and check it out. This is the new Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Now this video might be a little bit of a surprise to you if you watch my latest shopping blog video. I will link it over here so you can check it out. In that video, I was kind of hemming and hawing like, I don't know, am I interested in trying this product out? Do I want to add another step to my makeup routine of adding an eye brightener or corrector when I already do concealer and foundation? Do I really want to add another step? And I'm not going to give you any spoilers. You're going to have to watch until the end of this video. But I thought it was my duty to go ahead and test this product out and let you guys know my thoughts. And you can determine for yourself if this is something that you want to test out. So again, this is brand new to Fenty. It is available online at the Fenty Beauty website. It is also available on the Sephora website as well as in store, which is what I love about Fenty as well. When they launch on Sephora, they tend to launch in store as well, which is how I was able to get these so quickly. So I picked up five shades of these to test out for you guys. You're gonna see them swatched and demoed in the video, but first I'm gonna start out with the details of this product and then we can jump into the demonstration. So this product again is the Bright Fix Eye Brightener from Fenty Beauty. And it says here that it is an under eye brightener that hydrates, brightens and conceals with sheer to buildable coverage, delivering a no makeup makeup effect and long wear formula. It is available in 16 shades. Now remember, Fenty is really good with their shade range when it comes to complexion products, but this product is a little bit different. It is not quite a concealer, it is a eye brightener and it has a sheer color payoff, so it's not gonna be as pigmented, so the 16 shades can span a variety of skin tones. One shade is gonna be able to work on various skin tones. So this retails for $25 and it contains 10 milliliters of product or 0.34 fluid ounce. And if you compare that to their Pro Filter Concealer, which is the concealer product in their line currently, this contains eight milliliters or 0.27 fluid ounces. So you're actually getting more product in this tube than you are in their concealer, which is actually kind of surprising since the concealer does retail for a dollar more at $26. So you are getting a decent amount of product for the price point, but it is an under eye brightener. It is not a concealer, so it's not gonna give you as much coverage, and I don't know how much use you're necessarily gonna get out of it, so it's up to you whether or not that price point is worth it. Now let's talk about the packaging. It comes in the usual box packaging that all Fenty products come in, and it has all the manufacturing details and ingredients on the box itself, and the actual product packaging is a plastic squeeze tube in a, what I would consider, millennial beige color. It's really Really beautiful it's muted and it's in line with their other packaging they tend to have like a millennial pink or like a millennial ivory there's a beautiful muted neutral tone to all their packaging which I absolutely adore and I love this packaging as well and the tube itself has this soft touch texture to it which makes it feel a little bit more on the high-end side rather than a cheapy throwaway drugstore plastic tube which I think eh, adds a little touch to it and the cap is a clear cap and inside you have the applicator which is actually the most interesting part about the packaging so it's a clear squeeze tube applicator but the actual shape of the tip is of a ball or like a bulb shape and apart from being innovative I think it is really cute but it's great for applying this product directly from the applicator under your eyes so if you want to just tap a couple of dots of the product under your eye using the applicator it works really well for that and I just like I just like that it's different I really find it interesting and now I'll just quickly run through the product details before we jump into the actual demonstration with this product on my face so this again is the bright fix brightener concealer and it says here it has a serum like texture that instantly brightens and blurs with a crease humidity and sweat resistant formula it contains jojoba oil to help condition delicate under eye skin while the hydro blend complex full of hydrating ingredients helps attract and hold moisture to the skin. There are clinical results here, but just take them with a grain of salt because that doesn't really mean much. It says here, in a consumer study of 31 volunteers immediately after using, 100% agree that it applies evenly and blends easily, and 100% also agrees that it feels lightweight, 
smooth and comfortable and that same 100% agrees that it reduces the appearance of fatigue and provides a flawless finish. After 8 hours, 97% agree that their under eye area did not feel dry at the end of the day and 90% would recommend Bright Fix Eye Brightener to a friend. Now, the formulation is a liquid, it has a natural finish, and it has a sheer to light buildable coverage, and it works well with fingers, brush, or a sponge, which is great because that means it is very versatile, and it can be layered with your Pro Filter Concealer for added coverage. And it says to apply a small amount and tap to blend, and it is buildable and easy to layer with your skincare. Now, like I mentioned, there are 16 shades available, and a few of these shades are meant to be used used as corrector shades rather than concealer shades. So remember, this is an under eye brightener and it can be used for brightening and lifting the under eyes as well as concealing. And there's a breakdown on the Sephora website as well as the Fenty Beauty website that indicates which shades will work best for which shade ranges in their foundation range. And they break it down into five sets. We have light, light, medium, 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 deep, and deep. And again, the corrector shades are mixed in. For the light shades, we have the shade Rose Quartz which is a pinky peach for light medium medium and medium deep shades we have peach which is a peachy tone corrector it's like a medium tone peach and then for medium deep and deep we have pumpkin which is a deeper orange shade and I went ahead and picked up five shades two of the corrector shades so I have peach and pumpkin and then I picked up a couple of shades from the medium range and medium deep range so now that you've heard all the details let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration and I'm going to show you this applied to my skin and then I'll show you the effect of the before and after so you can see how this product brightens or lifts the under eyes so let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration all right guys, so let's go ahead and jump into the demonstration of the five shades of the Bright Fix Eye Brightener that I happen to pick up. And I am applying them over bare moisturized skin. I allowed my moisturizer to sit on my skin for about 15 minutes now, and I didn't apply any under eye cream or any moisturizer close to my under eye. So that is completely bare of product. And we're gonna go ahead and test out this Bright Fix Eye Brightener to see if it is one, correcting because I have corrector shades, and also moisturizer and concealing. So I'll start out with the first color correcting shade that I have which is number 9 peach and this is described as a peach to brighten and color correct light medium to medium deep skin tones and this is best for light medium shades that fall between shades 180 and 250 in the Fenty lineup and also for medium deep shades between 345 and 420. So I'm gonna follow the instructions and just use a small amount to tap under my eyes and blend out. And I'm going to apply it under one eye first so you can see the comparison between bare skin and then with the peach corrector brightener. Now they do say that this works well with fingers, brush, or sponge. So whichever method you're comfortable with, go ahead and apply it that way. And I'm just using my finger for ease of use right now so I don't have to go back and forth with a clean sponge or a clean brush. So here you have the peach shade and I think it is really brightening like ooh, that looks so nice now it definitely adds lift and light to my under eye and it covers up and conceals some of my darkness let me insert the split screen so you can see the same side with the product applied and without so you can see the difference that it makes and I think this is really nice. It does feel very lightweight. It is a more sheer coverage. It doesn't give me the full-on coverage of a concealer, but it definitely adds a brightness under my eyes that I can then top with my concealer or even just wear this by itself. And yeah, I think that looks really great. And I'm actually in this case gonna try to build this up just a little bit because I just applied a light layer. So let's try a little bit of building this up to see if it will build up pigmentation and coverage and give us even more of a blurring and brightening effect. And it built up a little bit with the added layer. The coverage is still there and it is more brightening. I definitely would still go in with a concealer to cover up and conceal the darkness under my eyes, but I think it did a really good job of brightening my under eyes. So here you have the first shade number nine, Peach, which is a color corrector. Now moving on to the next shade, which is number 10, Honey. 
This is described as a warm neutral from medium to medium deep skin tones and this falls under the medium range which is best for shades 255 to 340. So again I'm going to go in with my finger and tap the shade under my eyes. And this shade is a brightening concealer shade versus a brightening corrector shade so it's going to have more of a skin tone hue to it. And this one is a little bit more on the warm side, so it has a little bit of a yellow undertone. And you can see the difference between this shade and the peach shade that has more of that peachy undertone. It definitely has more orange to it. This one is definitely warmer, definitely more yellow. It still, to me, has the same level of brightening. So if you're looking for more of a corrector shade because you really had under eye darkness, the peach shade might be best for you or if you have more peachy undertones. But if you have more warm tone undertones and you want it to brighten and lift, you could definitely go in with Honey because I feel like it does brighten and lift under the eyes as well. I think it did a really good job. Now let's go ahead and insert the split screen again so you can see the difference between the same side with the corrector on and without. So you can see the difference that it makes and I definitely think it brightens up the under eyes. Oh my god, can you see how bright my under eyes are right now? It definitely lifted and brightened under my eyes and the product have blended so well into my skin that I can see me wearing this on its own without any other foundation product or any concealer because it looks so seamless on my skin. So here you have the two shades. This is the peach side and then this is the honey side. You can see the slight difference in undertone but I think both of them have a similar brightness. They just have a different undertone. Next shade up is Honey Mustard which is described as a warm olive for medium deep to deep skin tones and this falls under the medium deep range and it is best for shades 345 to 420. So again let's go ahead and apply that under the eyes. Now this shade again is a concealer shade rather than a corrector shade so it's going to be more skin toned and this shade definitely has a mustardy look to it. It's like a yellow olivey tone and it does brighten under my eyes and if you have really strong yellow undertones I think this would work really well to brighten and lift under your eyes and even for my complexion if I want to go in with this before I go in with like a peachy concealer this might work to kind of color correct or balance out that concealer shade. I'm not gonna lie it definitely looks like I have jaundies but it can definitely be a lifting brightening shade for your concealer that you place on top so I don't think it's a bad shade it's just <laughs> this this might not be for you if you have a really strong pink or red undertones because this yellow child, mm -mm, it's a lot, okay? So here you have the shade. I'll show you the side by side again so you can see what the shade looks like up against the same side without the product on. And you can definitely see the difference in shade. It's definitely more yellow. It definitely covers up some darkness. It even color corrects a little bit even though it's not a corrector shade. It looks very lifting and kind of similar to what the peach shade did with color correct in my under eye darkness. All right, next up we have the shade Almond Butter, which is described as neutral for medium deep to deep skin tones. And this falls under the medium deep range, which is best for shades 345 to 420. So again, this is one of the concealer shades and this would have been my default shade because I do fall in the medium deep range and I do have more of a neutral undertone. So this would be my go-to concealer shade rather than a corrector shade and I don't think it's necessarily going to give me too much brightening and lifting because it matches my skin exactly. Like you can see, it just conceals a little bit of my darkness. It doesn't really color correct too much, but it does add some brightening and lift to my under eye area. And again, it blends in so effortlessly and seamlessly with my skin. This would be the perfect shade for me to use for a no makeup makeup look. If I just wanted to look a little bit more awake and I didn't want to go in with concealer and foundation and all that, I just wanted to brighten my under eye just a bit. I think this is perfect. So let me go ahead and show you the side by side again of this shade against the side without. And you can see it definitely adds just a little bit of lift, a little bit of coverage, a little bit of concealing, but not like too much where it looks full coverage, like it looks like I'm wearing makeup. It just looks very natural on my skin. And I am really, really liking this shade, I must say. And again, this is a concealer shade rather than a corrector shade. Moving on to the final shade, which is a corrector shade. This is number 13, Pumpkin, 
which is described as orange to brighten and color correct medium deep to deep skin tones. And this falls under, again, the medium deep range, which is for shades 345 to 420, and also under the deep range, which is for deep shades between 430 and 498. Now, as I said, this is a corrector shade. It is richly orange. It is not like a bold orange, but it definitely has a lot of pigmentation to it. And you could tell from the swatches that it definitely is a richer tone. And I may have gone in with way too much under my eyes. For my skin tone, this shade, woo, child, I have to be very careful. I have to be very light handed with it. A little bit seems to go a very long way with this shade particularly. Also with the mustard shade, I feel like was very pigmented. The other three shades so far have not been overly pigmented. So even though I could still use a little bit to get decent coverage, I could layer it up without it really going way too far. And I feel like this orange went way too far. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and blend this out under my eyes. You can tell it is definitely orange. It is definitely color correcting. And an orange is used to color correct bruisey, purpley, and blue tones because it is opposite on the color wheel. So it's meant to cancel out darkness that's a little bit more on the purpley side. And I'm going to use this one also around my mouth. Now this is an under eye brightener and the other shades I wouldn't use for this kind of color correction. But since it is such a richly pigmented shade, I wanna see how it works on other areas of hyperpigmentation. So I'm gonna tap that around my mouth just to see how it would cover up those areas of, you know, pigmentation that I have from breakouts, and from scarring and also just hyperpigmentation around my mouth and this one you're definitely gonna see a bold bright difference and I don't think I necessarily have to show you the difference side by side but I'll still do that so you can see what it looks like without the product on and then with the product on as well and you can see the difference. It obviously makes me look like a whole carrot and that's fine. It's fine, it's a color corrector. It's meant to help cancel out darkness and conceal some of that so when you go over it with foundation, it can kind of balance it out and that darkness won't show through and give a gray cast. If you've ever applied your foundation and you realize that you have like a gray cast around your mouth or in certain areas where you have hyperpigmentation, this is what you can do to help to counteract that is use an orange or peachy corrector. This one I think is definitely gonna work well on darker skin tones to cover up and conceal some of the hyperpigmentation and also lift and brighten, but I can see you mix in different shades in with this as well to get the benefits of color correction and then also brightening and lifting, but for my skin tone, this definitely is not going to be a lifting shade or a brightening shade. It's definitely gonna be more of a color correcting shade. All right, now that I've shown you all the shades and I've shown you the difference between bare skin and with these products applied under my eyes and specifically with this one all over my face let's go in and see how these work together so I'm gonna go in with my specific shade that I could use as a concealer this is almond butter again and I'm going to apply a bit of that under the eyes and now I'm gonna go in with a brush instead of my finger like we did with the other applications and see how this will blend out with a brush. It definitely adds a little coverage, but not as much to cover up that orange shade. That orange shade is definitely intense. So if you're using a sheer coverage concealer, this might not be the way to go for you because that orange is still gonna pop out. Now how about we go in with a complexion product. This is the Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint from Fenty. It's a lightweight product, light coverage, and I wanna see how this will work in tandem with this brightening concealer because I think they're meant to be paired together because they're both lightweight products. So we're gonna see if this is going to cover up any of this orange or if I'll need a product with more medium to full coverage to really cover up that orange. So this is shade number 16 and shade number 16 is for medium skin with neutral olive undertones. So we're gonna see if this covers up that color because again, it's a lightly pigmented product and it's not gonna give me tons of coverage. So I fear 
that this orange might still peek through, which is the problem you can run into with color correcting. If you pick a color correcting shade that is too deep or too rich, it can still show up under your foundation product, especially like a lightweight one such as this. Let's see if it works to cover up that spot that I applied. And it did, it did, it covered it up. I still have a little bit of extra orange under my eyes, which, I mean, isn't a bad thing because I put a lot on. So for it to even cover that up, I think is pretty decent. I still look a little bit more orange, but I think that actually worked pretty well. And to add a little bit more coverage, just to see how this looks under a concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Concealer. I use the shade 385 and I'll apply some around my mouth as well where we have that corrector down and I'll just blend that out with a sponge to get the maximum coverage from that concealer product. And I think that definitely covers up the orange a lot better. You can't see it as much anymore, if any at all. It just does the correcting that it's meant to do without leaving any trace of that orange behind. Which again, like I said, if you go too rich and deep with a color corrector, you're definitely gonna need more of a medium to full coverage complexion product, like a concealer or a foundation to cover that up. And now, I think that did a pretty, pretty good job. Now I want to also use one of the brighteners on top of this. I know I'm layering up a ton of product. So we have the Bright Fix Concealer down, we have the Color Corrector down, and now I have the Pro Filter Concealer down. And yet I want to go in with more to see if I can get even more out of this product. Oh my god. So I'm going to use a little touch of honey, oh my god, just to add a little bit more brightness. And I also want to see how this works over concealer. like. Will it add brightness to the eyes? Because we already concealed, so all we need now is brightness. Let's see how that works, if it blends well and lifts the under eye. Ooh, I should have applied it with one side done first, but that's fine. You can still kind of tell. It definitely lifts and brightens. Oh my god, I think, guys, 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 guys. I'm low-key in love right now. Wow. It definitely brightens the under eyes. It lifts it. I have the color correction going on, so there's no... Listen, look at this. Look at this. I look blurred and flawless, and with the foundation product, it's very lightweight. It's very sheer, buildable coverage, so it's not even giving me, like, full-on coverage. But with the corrector and the concealer, my fa... Ooh! Child, mm. I think the only thing that we need to examine right now is if it is creasing, which it would already start creasing under my eyes because of my fine lines. So here I am up close. You can see the product on my skin. It looks very natural. It's not settling into any lines. I have combination oily skin, so I don't have trouble with dryness or flakiness. And I think this settles onto my skin really well. And it's not exaggerating pores or anything. And under my eyes, I will still need to set this because it is settling into my lines just a little bit. But not intensely. I tend to set my concealer anyway under my eyes because of the lines. And that to me is just a given. It always is going to happen. I have lines. It's a cream product. It's going to settle under there. So I'm going to go ahead and set this with a brightening powder and see how that goes. I'm going to go ahead and keep everything Fenty. So I'm going to go in with my loose powder in honey and... Tap that under the eyes to set this product in place. Now, honey is not necessarily a brightening or lifting powder for me. It is a little bit brightening, but it's not ultra brightening, which is actually my preference. I don't like really bright under eyes, so I am fine with this honey shade. If you wanted to lift and brighten even more, your under eye powder would then be just slightly lighter than your setting powder overall. And that I think looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna go in with my Fenty powder foundation and just set 
the rest of my face and I'm just pressing this into the skin. This is shade 360, which is actually my perfect shade for the powder foundation because it doesn't darken up on me when I apply it over liquid products or moisturized skin. So that's exactly what I need. But the best matches, as I mentioned, in the liquid foundation has been 360 and 385. So here we have the finished skin and I layered up quite a few products but my skin does not feel heavy or tight or anything and I think I look pretty seamless. I don't look cakey or anything. And you guys tell me what you think. I think, honestly, truly, I am in love and I am happy that I picked up all of these shades. I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, do I need all of these shades? I don't really know. <laughs> but I do think for the most part, each of the shades that I picked up do have their place. So let me go ahead and finish up my makeup and then I'll come back with my final thoughts. All right guys, so now that you have seen the demonstration, you've seen the swatches, you've heard all the product details, you've heard my thoughts about the packaging, we can go ahead now and wrap up with my final thoughts of the product, the performance, and the application. And I don't know if I need to say it or you guys already guessed it, but I love this product. I really did not expect to love it. I was low-key kind of hating on it. I'm like, oh, here we go. This is just another step to my makeup routine. Do I need to go ahead and apply another layer of product? Really, what is it gonna do for me? And I was pleasantly surprised by this product. I really love how this brightens up the under eye area. I really wasn't expecting it to do much brightening and lifting. I really had low expectations and this blew me away. I really, really do like the honey shade for brightening and lifting under my eyes as well as the peach shade. I think they're beautiful, they're brightening. You don't need both shades, like choose one and just go with it. And I also like the shade that matches me as a concealer, Almond Butter. This works so well to just give a brightening effect under the eyes, just a little bit of coverage, nothing too crazy. So I can tap it on if my under eyes just look way too dark and I wanna run out the door, but I just wanna give something extra to my face without having to apply a full face of makeup. I think it will work perfectly for those days. And I also like the color corrector in Pumpkin. Even though it's a little bit too rich for my skin tone, I definitely think this is more for dark skin and deep skin, this will work great for that. But I still think if you have hyperpigmentation, this is gonna work really well because it has really great pigmentation to it, even though they say it's sheer. This one ain't sheer. She got some payoff to her, and it does cover it pretty easily with even the skin tint that I used. It still covered it up really well. And I love how it applied. It's such a sheer lightweight formulation. It blends out really easily, it doesn't feel heavy, and it layers up with other products so well without making it cakey, which was my concern, like, oh, I'm gonna put this on, then I'm gonna put concealer and foundation, do I need all of that? And I am happy to report that it worked really well without drying out my under eyes. I don't feel like I have any crepiness, and I did have to set it down with powder just because I do have to set every concealer down with powder, otherwise it will settle into my lines. And I will say that this product feels really comfortable as well under the eyes. I didn't go in with eye cream, but it doesn't feel dry at all. I do have more oily combination skin, so I don't have problems with dryness and under eye dryness, especially, so I can't report on how this would work on dry skin. I do feel like it's hydrating under my eyes. I didn't feel like I needed to go in with something before this to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. In fact, I think this helped my concealer blend out and smooth out a little bit better over my under eyes because it gives that little bit of a blur and smoothen effect and I really like the result. And it also sets down and wears pretty well so far. I've had this on for a few hours. I haven't done a full wear test, but just on how it feels, how lightweight it feels and how it sets down, I don't think it's going to melt off my skin or budge. As far as the humidity and sweat resistance, I ain't gonna test that right now, but I can feel just from the formulation, from the application, that it will be long wearing. It does set down, so it doesn't feel dewy or moisturizing necessarily. It does set down, and as you tap it out and blend it out, it gives a blurring, like smoothing effect, but it's not like an ultra airbrushed look. It's just a soft blur. 
and it does dry down to a soft natural matte finish. It's not a drying matte, it's a more skin-like matte. It's not dewy or shiny or anything. So I really love how it looks on my skin, especially since I have oily combination skin. But again, I can't speak for dry skin. But I think overall, it performed magnificently and I think this can also be used all over the face like if you want to brighten your forehead or your chin or your nose bridge you can use it for that as well I do think you can use it in other ways other than under the eyes even though that's what it's recommended for that's what the expectation is you can still use it in various ways and I think it works really well it does help to lift darkness and brighten and <sighs> I don't know I was I was surprised and I am happy with all the shades I picked up except except maybe the honey mustard shade that one mm, that one's a little bit questionable this one is definitely mustardy it's definitely yellow it may not be the perfect shade for me but I can still make it work I still feel like I can use it as a highlight product in my forehead or down the bridge of my nose because it has that warmer yellow undertone I really like it so let me know what you guys think is this something that you're interested in did my review help you narrow down your choices to see if maybe there's a shade or two you want to pick up for yourself let me know and again there are 16 shades available but there are a couple of color correctors mixed in and then you have the concealer tones that are gonna be flexible within the skin tone ranges so you can pick and choose whichever shade you think will work best for you so you saw that I went ahead and tested out all the shades from the medium deep range so if you use my skin tone as a reference those are the shades that are covered for my skin tone match but I also tested out the peach shade which is the corrector shade for light medium and also for medium tones and I also mixed in one shade from the medium range as well which is honey which is gonna be a lighter more brightening corrector on me so hopefully this video was helpful and hopefully you guys know everything that you need to know about this product but if you have any questions though leave them them in the comments below and I'll answer the best that I can. I will also go ahead and leave links on where you can pick this up which is at Sephora or Fenty and I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter page where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you. Bye guys!